Alright everyone, in this video I'll show you how to rip DVDs in Ubuntu. Now, I'm puzzling about the ethics of this, so if too many people say, well this is a stupid idea, I'll just get rid of the video. But, well, you're entitled to make one backup copy for your own use, as long as you don't go and share it around, that's absolutely fine. Anyway, I'll show you using this program here called Handbrake. Install instructions are in the description below. Basically, you have to add a repository, then you install from Synaptic or the terminal. Now, you need to be able to read DVD for the handbrake to work properly. So, if you just look at my previous video on that, basically, you just need um, yeah, libdvd css2. There's a script to install that in Ubuntu. Anyway, let's just show you one going here. So, it's just a chapter of Ren and Stimpy. So, just start that off. Oh yeah, overwrite. Already done that one. The encode is done. No, there we go. Encode. You can see it's well, moving quite quickly through it. In fact, encoding at 300 frames a second. So that's about 10 times faster than DVD plays. Let's just go through the options you need to use in the handbrake. So first off, we choose a source. So you have one of these ISO files that are downloaded. We could choose from a DVD drive on that side there. I don't have one in there at the moment. So I just choose this ISO file. Now by default, Handbrake chooses the longest title sequence, which will generally be the movie. But you might, might want to just check that, it's got the right one. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. And choose a file name, folder you want to save it to. Now format. If you're playing it on Windows, you might want to go for the MP4 format. If you're playing it in VLC or any other media player in Linux, you can use the MKV format. My preference is the MKV, but I'll just show you the MP4 for now and we'll go through all the options there. So you've got a few different things here, so you've got iPod 5G support, web optimised and a large file of more than 4GB. Generally, a DVD movie will be below 4GB, because you're taking away all the menus and other rubbish that comes with a DVD, so the movie itself is fairly small. Right, on the summary page, we've got the, well, the aspect ratio, frame rate, auto cropping by default is switched on, just removes the black lines around the edges, and we've got no scaling set. I could change all those with the picture settings, but generally I'll just leave it as it is. On the video, you can choose a video encoder. H.264 will produce the smallest file size, MP4 mid-range, MP2 largest. I'll show you H.264, and there's quite a few advanced options for that, which I'll come to in a moment. They've got quality settings, or bitrate. I'll go for bitrate. If you want a one-to-one -one copy in, of, in terms of quality, choose 9500. If you want to reduce the file size, you can go for about 5000. Or if you're copying like a cartoon file, ah, I noticed that. Red and Stimpy episode has finished encoding, so it didn't take long at all. Anyway, so if you're doing cartoons, then you can get away with about 3,000. Now, audio. So it's recognised that there's a stereo track there, two channel AC3, it's Dolby Digital. Now, the encoder you can choose from. Again, if you're playing it in well, Windows or a Linux media player, you might just go for AC3 or MP3, you choose the bitrate, so reducing that will reduce the file size. If you're playing it on a surround sound system, go for the AC3 pass through or auto pass through, and now you get a surround sound, and it'll leave the quality the same as the original. You can add subtitle tracks, so I can choose from the list there, well, there's only one subtitle track on this DVD, and just click add, or you can click remove if you don't want it. You could burn them in, but you know, let's just leave it as the option of switching it on and off. Right, now the advanced options for H.264. I don't know how all, how all this works, so I'm, I've never really managed to read up on H.264, and I've not managed to get my media player to play H.264 files properly. Basically, well, you could look around on Google, you might find the settings there. Uh, basically, I'm going to go back 
I'm going to choose MP4, then you don't get any advanced options with that. MP4, fairly simple. File size will be a bit larger, but at least it's sort of guaranteed to play. Right, and lastly, you can choose to add chapter markers in. And that's it. You can save it as a preset. So the next time you undo a DVD in code, you can just choose that and, and carry on. It's very quick. Basically, timings for copying. You expect a whole movie to be done within about 15 to 20 minutes on a fast machine. If you're using something as basic as a netbook, a 1.6 gigahertz process there, it'll take about a third of the movie time. Basically within about 40 minutes or so. So, pretty quick. And I'm thinking, bear in mind, 15 years ago when we were trying it, 24 hours to copy. So, 15 years of progress there. Excellent. Alright, well, thanks for watching. See you later.